Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I've fallen behind in recording, but I'm gonna get ahead again. I was initially planning to play Isaac this time since I seem to only be able to succeed with Isaac and Kane right now, but I think I want to play Judas because, I mean, Judas is one of my favorite characters. So, um, Judas starts high damage, lower speed, high damage multiplier, but damage multipliers are constant. He also starts with only one heart and Book of Belial, which uh, doubles your damage for the current room. Or, well, the room in which you use it. Anyway, um, this is going to be episode 50, so hopefully I can show off the chest with it. Because, I mean, I just think that's a cool time for that to work out conveniently for me. But, uh, you know, I can't come in expecting it. I can try, but really all it comes down to is the luck of what items I get. Anyway, uh, we've got... Cellar XL, not Basement XL, unfortunately, because Cellar sucks, spiders and what have you. But, um, XL floors, two item rooms, one shop, two boss rooms, twice as many rooms total. So, uh, we have a Tinted Rock here. Oh, both item rooms require a key, even though it's the first floor. It counts as though it's the second floor, which means we can also get a deal with the devil at the end of the second boss fight unlike if this were the first floor. So, I mean, it's kind of a fair trade, but it's also really inconvenient if you have terrible luck, which is totally something that happens to me a lot, at least in this Let's Play. But here's the first key, so I'd say we're actually doing well with it. Really, let's see, what do I want? I want health and I want damage. Damage ups affect Judas more than your average character, which is what I was talking about with damage multipliers. His damage multiplier is 1.35, so every damage up that would do one up damage is up 1.35, so two damage up is up 2.7, and that's awesome. Anyway, I'm just going to fight the first boss here, and then not fight the second boss right away, so that I can get a maximum Book of Belial usage here. That was stupid damage. But uh, my trinket, the fish head, will um, spawn blue kamikaze flies whenever we get hit. So that item, man, I've been explaining things nonstop. Uh, first item we get is meat with an exclamation point. That is one health up and one damage up, even though it doesn't say damage up. And I'm not sure if it gives the tears up, it says it does. So uh, we're going to go under the impression that it doesn't actually, because I don't feel like I'm shooting any faster. But we unintentionally find the top secret room, which is totally fine with me. And we get the two of clubs, which doubles our bombs. I'm going to wait to use that in case I pick up a couple more, or if I use my only bomb, it will give me two bombs, as though I had one. So it's uh, definitely the worst time to use it is when you have one bomb. Whereas the best time to use it is when you have, like... I mean, more than one bomb, but preferably, like, at least five. So, uh, that's pretty much the kind of kind of deal I'm going for. And there, my waiting has already paid off. I could get up to four bombs now. Because, by the way, if you think about it, um, using it when you have one is like going minus one on bombs. Because you could get, um... You could use your one bomb and then get two from using it, or you could not use your one bomb and then get a second from using it. So, I mean, it's kind of a waste. I'll use it now, get this tinted rock. Hopefully, a uh, small rock is what I was going to say. So, the small rock is a uh, one damage, up, two damage up, one tears up, and one speed down. Excellent pickup. Uh, Lemon mishap is the opposite of an excellent, excellent pickup. It's a terrible, useless item for the most part. And I'm not even going to pick it up. I'm not even going to grace it with a, with a, my hands, I guess. Pretty much it would just spawn a puddle. It's a circle around you. It's not very big. And it would damage enemies if they walked over it. Flying enemies are immune. So, I mean, in most cases it is not going to help you whatsoever. But I'd say that this first floor has gone amazingly so far. We've only seen one of the two item rooms, unfortunately, was useless, but we've already gotten a health up and two damage ups. So uh, that is really good. We're going to be one-shotting small spiders and most flies. So we'll just see what the uh, 
second item room has in store. Hopefully something really good. Stigmata, I'm hoping for. That's another damage and health up. But that one's actually supposed to be damage and health up. So it's a little different from the one we picked up from the boss. And we still have a second boss drop, which could be greater, it could be neutral, or it could be a uh, pageant boy, which is terrible. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it if it is. So we got another bomb. We've got plenty of keys right now. And our other item is the poop, which is equally terrible, but I will use it because there's a chance of poop dropping soul hearts or uh, coins and that kind of deal. And if it dropped, say, a dime, I would go to the shop because then I'd have enough money. But uh, unfortunately, the two item rooms were two items that I wanted less than not at all. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is like weird right now. Uh, definitely sticking with the Book of Belial because that is one of my top three items in the game. Uh, let's use this pill. Bombs are key. So, uh, that's alright, I guess. That means that I may as well use a bomb and a key for this. Even though that'll put me in a bad bomb situation, maybe this has a bunch of bombs in it. Or it'll have uh, possibly the best trinket in the game. Cancer doubles our rate of fire. So I'd say that uh, we're going to have some pretty crazy DPS once we uh, use the Book of Belial, but even without the Book of Belial, our damage is up very far just from uh, up one from uh, meat and up two from the small rock. So I'd say we're almost in um, a situation where we've got nearly endgame damage. So let's see who what we get in here. Uh, yeah, I would love to take Spirit of the Night, but... I mean, I'd live through it, but it's not worth the risk. I have only two hearts, and it would put me with no hearts and no soul hearts. So I'm just not taking that chance right now. Sorry, I gotta be careful when there are keepers involved with my life. But I have a lot of damage, like I was saying, and that means it went fine. Now this is a great pickup. Magic Mushroom is all stats up, and uh, yeah. That means I have even more damage. Like, look how big my tears are without Book of Belial. They're gonna be even bigger with it. And uh, that's also a health up, that's a tears up, so doubling my tears with Cancer is looking even better. But also the fact that, um, I mean, damage up, that's 1.35 damage up. I just one-shotted the freaking double fly thing. The fly that shoots two, I don't know what it's called. Uh, bombs are key, we may use at one point. But uh, I'm definitely calling this a great run so far. These things can change. I definitely need to pick up uh, soul hearts and health. Or just soul hearts, I mean. That's fine, as long as there's some health input. Like, intake, rather. Because, I mean, wow, look at my damage on peep right now. Um, and I mean, like I said, look how huge my tears are. So we get a health up, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Let's see what's in here. Is it Krampus? No, it's Brimstone, and uh, I'm not sure. Do I want to take Brimstone? Because, I mean, look at... Look at this. This is ridiculous. Oh, I'm so conflicted right now. Because, I mean, the health situation... I'm sticking with tears. This is the only time you're ever going to see that from me, probably. Brimstone is really a great item. But, uh, we're taking the road less traveled right now. Seeing if that's the secret room, and it is... And it's almost enough money to go to the shop once we run across it. So I'm expecting to go to the shop because I'm expecting to come across another scent because you almost always do. Coins are uh, pretty common drops. And one thing I really like is I have cross map range already. Well, cross room range, not maps really. But, uh, okay, soul heart, that's good. Right now, all I want to do is accumulate health. Well, I didn't really mean to do that, but uh, that's fine. I don't have any need for the things in here. Uh, 
so unfortunately we didn't come across that scent, but I'll go to the challenge room and just see what's up. That's what I figured would happen. So we're all good. One shot spitties. Like, this is really, this is a crazy damage run already. I am exceedingly happy with what is going on. And the, uh... Magic Mushroom is also going to be a speed up, and as Judas, you do need at least one speed up in order to have, you know, viable speed. Because at some point, there are going to be enemies that you just can't outrun, like Globins and that kind of deal. And uh, though that kind of damage is just not worth taking. So we're going to take the candle because, uh, in my opinion, it's without a doubt the best item in the game. I also have crazy damage, so the Book of Belial is only uh, furthering my. I mean, it, it's good, but the candle is going to prove pretty much game-changing in the uh, end game, because the candle turns Isaac and Blue Baby from difficult boss fights to uh, relatively easy boss fights. So pretty much the candle, um, it, it shoots that blue flame that I just shot, and... Uh, that does a ton of damage. It destroys incoming tiers, which is pretty much why it's crazy valuable and really good against Isaac and Blue Baby because as Isaac and Blue Baby are shooting you like tons and tons of tiers, um, it just destroys them when you can use it and it recharges every one and a half seconds within the same room. So, I mean, it turns those fights from bullet hells to walks in the park, kind of. But um, my crazy damage with moderate tiers is also going to be a completely defining factor. Uh, actually, uh, this this time, this time you win. Free Mom's Knife versus uh, Two Heart Brimstone. Easy choice for me. Mom's Knife is an excellent item. Crazy damage. So my damage is, has gone from totally crazy to even crazier. And the only thing that's changed really, that's like risky at all, is I may have to get closer to some enemies. But uh, note, my tier rate my tier rate increases how fast uh, Mom's knife charges to max range, and uh, I'm not sure if max range also or if range up also has that effect. But uh, in a conversation with someone on the uh, Binding of Isaac subreddit, uh, they thought that the uh, range ups also increased your charge time rather than adding um, charge time to the end to account for that range, which was my thought. So, uh, I'm totally unsure if you guys want to leave comments and tell me that kind of thing. I already wasted that soul heart. That's pretty terrible. But I got it back. Uh, anyway, yeah, if you guys could, like, comment and tell me if you happen to know, does range up increase your charge time, or does it, uh, leave your charge time essentially unaffected, except that you have to charge longer to get that little bit of extra range that you added? If you understand my question. If not, um, well, thanks anyway. I hope that isn't a defining factor in your enjoyment of this video. Uh, so, you know, I think a bomb is worth this nickel right now just because uh, that nickel allows us to visit the shop. Maybe we'll get a compass or something, which could be pretty much invaluable for um, our completion of this game. Or we could get the Nun's Habit, which is largely useless, but I'll take it. Nun's Habit, um, every time you get hit, you'll regenerate half of a charge for your spacebar item. And I say that's, like, largely useless because the candle will recharge within a room. So, I mean, why do I need that? I don't, but hey, maybe it makes the difference between a couple less hits I take somehow. Or maybe it's just, a. Uh, purchase to make me feel good about myself, which is fine. If I feel good about myself, uh, then the run feels good about itself. Oh, that was terrible. Almost damage I almost took. But two hit pestilence, we get an angel room for passing up that deal with the devil earlier. Anyway, first, cube of meat. That rotates around us like you see and uh, blocks enemy tears, so that'll go uh, well with the candle and the Isaac fight and it damages enemies that uh, get close to it. 
scapular, unfortunately, not, you know, something else. Um, that will give us a soul heart every time we get, well, no. It'll give us a soul heart when we get down to half of a red heart once per room. So, it will not work twice in the same room. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. But now there's a one less vomit grimace. And I take, like, way more damage. Okay. Whatever. It, it's okay, I guess. Um, so this item is Forever Alone. It's a long-range attack fly. It'll rotate around us, but it won't block any tears. It does pretty good damage. And you can position yourself to make good use of it. I'm going to check out the shop. It's greed. That's all right. That's not all right, though. Really, I should be using the candle more. Because, I mean, honestly, the candle makes everything so much easier. And it, it's not like you have to worry about it recharging because it recharges every one and a half seconds. The only thing that uh, I can say isn't great about the candle is it doesn't destroy those guys' uh, chubs that they shoot at you. But it does make this really easy. And, I mean, if you haven't noticed, my uh, knife is doing absolutely ridiculous damage. It is uh, killing things just by hitting it with a tip in, like, most cases. So let's see what's in the secret room. Tons of money, which I really don't need. Might run into greed again next uh, floor. But I'm definitely going to check since, I mean, come on, I have a ton of money. Oh, look, it's a compass. It's exactly what I wanted from the shop. But uh, another thing about Mom's Knife that's going to be pretty great for the uh, Isaac fight... As com Well, actually, no. It, it's going to be alright for the Isaac fight. It does a ton of damage, but it also does a decent number of hits. So Isaac returns... Um, well, Isaac shoots at you based on how many times you shoot him. So... Um, if you're not shooting much, he's not shooting much. If you're shooting a lot, he's shooting a lot. But, like, with Mom's Knife, you're kind of shooting a lot. Every time he takes a hit, it counts as you shooting him. Even though it's the knife. And so he'll return relatively frequently. Return fire, that is. But, I think we're gonna do well. So right now, all I really want to do is accumulate health. I just want health. So, why not? I'll go down to 15 cents and just hope for soul hearts. Because that's, that's really what I want. Oh my goodness. Okay, that almost hit me. I'm surprised it didn't, but thank goodness. Alright, soul heart. I'm surprised. These things don't usually work out in my favor like this. But, um, really, I very much need either a lot of soul hearts or a way, or a lot of red hearts, I guess. Bad gas, that's neutral. At least it wasn't health down. Health down was sucked. Health up would have rocked. So, I mean, we're just living life on the edge as I want to do in this game. Not really in real life. So, uh, yeah, this is largely uneventful, but one soul heart is still better than none. That is absolutely my belief here. Yeah, look how fast I charge. This is crazy. So this is definitely Mom's Knife to a much greater fraction of its potential. Not that this is like a, like a fraction of potential, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, that's an Eternal Heart, so that'll become a health up should I uh, survive to the next floor without losing it. So like, if I don't take three hits, then I should be good. Pretty Fly adds another element to my little ring of protection there. I accidentally used one more scent than I meant to. But that just means that we're going to block more shots than we would have before, which again goes very well against Isaac, because that's just less times that he'll hit me. Oh look, more money. I'll do it, because I mean, why not? It already gave us a, an eternal heart and a blue heart, uh, soul heart. And now I get a bomb and a key. I'm totally fine. <sighs> so, 
So, I mean, I'm totally willing, because masks and hearts are terrible, totally willing to do this with just my uh, candle. But, didn't have to. Because, like, like I've uh, demonstrated, just tipping with the knife kills most enemies, even strong ones like hearts. Hearts have a ton of health. And yet, one candle or one of my knife will do all that damage. By the way, I don't know if cancer is affecting my charge rate or not, but uh, I am going to end up dropping it for the Polaroid once we defeat Mom. Assuming we will, and I think that's a pretty safe assumption, to be honest. Okay, and that is that room. Excellent. Getting a bunch of bombs, and I'm still holding on to our bombs or key pill. So, uh, at some point, if I can hold on to this till, say, the chest, then we're in a great position for that. Alright, Fallen goes half dead and one go and full dead in the next uh, we pick up bloody lust rage so every time we kill an enemy within a room our damage increases slightly I don't know if that's like a base of a damage down some people seem to think so I have no clue but Samson starts with it it's pretty bad like largely useless in my opinion but uh, it, I guess it doesn't hurt so every time we kill an enemy, our damage will increase, we'll become a little more red, up to uh, when we're very red, and then it stops increasing. We did get the health up from the uh, Eternal Heart, which is great. And we get plus 10 bombs. It's okay. That means that bombs are key is becoming uh, slowly more valuable as we get later in the game. And I will play these things three times. And that's that. <laughs> Maybe I'll win, but I don't. Oh well. Next stop is the shop, and then I'm pretty much done. I have a full heart. Why don't I go play the blood bag twice? Maybe I'll get the blood bag. I haven't gotten a blood bag in a really long time, if no one's noticed but me. Well, I didn't, and I don't care to play the arcade anymore. Because honestly, I'm pretty set. I don't uh, expect to have much luck with soul hearts. And uh, swarmers are really no problem when you have mom's knife with this much damage. And I suppose rage can't hurt, right? Okay, now this, this I have to be a little more careful. Because uh, these things can easily, easily blow up in my face. But it looks like it's going all right. And it went all right. So let's see what's in the shop. Book of Revelations. I will use it once for sure, but uh, definitely keeping the candle. It's a far better item in my opinion, even though I do need a way to regenerate some health. Or generate some health. Uh, so once again, there's a full heart laying around. I'm going to play the blood bank. Hope for a blood bag. Speed up, health up, four hearts recovery but I'm not willing to risk um, going lower health than I should. Because, once again, this is a very good run, but it has the potential to become a glass cannon kind of thing. I need more health than I've gotten, and I just I don't want to put myself in a position where that could be a bad thing, or more of a bad thing. Because as it is, it's kind of neutral because I'm putting out so much damage that it's hard for me to take too much. But these kinds of things can change. Oh, amazing I didn't take damage there. Uh, you're witnessing uh, pretty much a miracle just by uh, looking at that. So uh, consider yourselves quite lucky to witness such a great miracle. Uh, that's another full heart. That's another two plays. I'll come back for these things like in a few rooms. So I have a ton of bombs and a ton of keys, so I may as well pop this open. Uh, uh, almost took a hit there, but fortunately, it was not in the cards. So uh, I will come back for the one full heart play once I have completed all of the rooms. 
So now that's one and a half hearts. I can't visit the boss challenge room because I have uh, more than one red heart, not counting soul hearts. Once again, mostly to keep it in my memory, I have currently four plays, three plays. Trust me, I can count. Unfortunately, I took like a full heart of damage there somehow. Nine cents, that is uh, largely worth nothing now, so I may as well play it all at the arcade after I complete every room up to the boss room. All right, I'll destroy the poop. I know, I always get on uh, everyone's case for not destroying the poop. Because it's largely uh, way more valuable than your time. If you're playing the game anyway, you're doing it wrong if you're not destroying the poop. So, recall, three plays, and then however many hearts we win from the arcade. Uh, once again, I will use a bomb and a key. Since, I mean, look at it, I just got a key, and maybe I'll get Tammy's head, which is a good item, but not as good as the candle. I also have three cents, so uh, I can afford the heart in the shop. So I will play five times, hopefully winning the blood bag. Two, three, four, and five. Now I will play down to three cents, just because if I can uh, get the health without leaving here, it sort of saves time. And then I can just play more before leaving, if you get what I'm saying. So basically, I just need to be at two and a half hearts when I leave and uh, be set. So there's one play. And um, the more hearts I win from these two, the slot machine and the skull game, the more money I, well, not the more money, but the more the uh, gambling process perpetuates itself in that I can trade my health for uh, more money to play on them for more health. So if I were Kane and having uh, extraordinary win rates on these things, I might be like rolling in the health that I uh, want, but unfortunately I can't win the skull game any time that it wants to give me my health back. And of course I do this now before fighting the boss because um, once you fight mom, you cannot leave because all doors, including a devil or angel room if they were to exist, um, are eliminated. They do not stay. So uh, sucks for you, essentially. I would love to see another pretty fly complete my ring of protection here. Uh, and there's the blood bag. Excellent. So now I'll play these down to no money because, once again, I have no use for my money. And uh, it's another bombs a key pill that I don't need because I already have one and I don't want to just use them both and then have no bombs or key pill because maybe I want to have 20 keys at some point. Or maybe, uh... Maybe at some point I'm out of bombs and need some bombs. I don't know. Better to have with no other options. What could it be? Tears up. Awesome. So that'll charge my knife faster. Even without uh, cancer, if cancer is doing anything. But I will certainly have to drop cancer because I want to pick up the Polaroid because this is pretty much my best chance at getting uh, into the uh, chest. Tears down. So uh, I'm not sure if tears down is like speed or uh, geez, there's not range, where uh, speed up and range up give you more than range down or speed down take away. So you still end up with a net positive. But I mean, even so, I mean, I'm charging really fast. I'm not worried particularly. So hopefully, um, the skull, skull game will pay out with Skatol before, uh, well, with my last cent. Thanks for the health that I no longer need. It was a good thought. 
but yeah, Skatol. That'd be a great pickup. It means flies don't even want to bother me besides to love me. They'll come uh, at me, but not attack me. And they can't damage me. Well, it's unfortunate. You can die now. And look, more money and the bomb. So it was free to blow it up. Anyway, now it's time to fight Mom. The candle will be a very big help because if you uh, didn't know, I'm now telling you that you can shoot the candle at the um, doors and that will damage Mom even if there's no nothing there, you see? But I mean, regardless, this is going to be over in about two seconds. So we get a range up. Like I was saying, possibly increasing our charge time, possibly not. Uh, we didn't take any hits there. We have the Polaroid. We have the candle. Let's go. So I hate when the compass isn't very revealing about what we're actually uh, going towards because I have no clue if I'm looking at uh, focus here or <laughs> no, I have no clue if I'm looking at the right direction for the boss or not. But I'm taking an educated guess. And unfortunately I took some damage here that I would preferably be avoided in the future because everything does a full heart of damage in the womb so I lost my uh, only soul heart there. And I'm just going to waste keys like it's my job because of this, uh, bo both the bombs or key pill and the fact that I probably have more than I can effectively use even in the chest if I do make it there. So these enemies are really annoying, especially with Mom's knife, except that you'll one-hit kill them in my situation. So what boss do I want to fight? I already fought the Fallen. The Fallen gave me a deal with the Devil item, and it, but it wasn't a good one. I mean, I forgot I even had Rage, even though I'm looking directly at the uh, <laughs> effects of it. Well, so we fight a Teratoma, Teratoma, which is really easy, especially because even as these spiders come at me, bro, um, they just walk into my knife and die. So we get health up. Health up's good. Uh, I don't know if stem cells has any effect uh, hidden besides health up. It also recovers you one half of a heart, but I had full health. So that didn't matter. So, like I said, I don't know if there are any other side effects, like raw liver is two health up, but one range down, and it doesn't tell you that it's a range down. Things like that. That was stupid damage. But I am one hitting these guys, which is always a good good sign. It's crazy when the candle isn't as effective at damaging as just your tears. Which in this case is a knife. I cry knives, I'm that manly, you know? Uh so let's just visit this anarchist cookbook, that's useless. That's that's nice, Loki. Now you're dead. The magician doesn't affect us at all. I would really like some health though. I would I don't like this whole not being a full health thing. Surprisingly didn't hit that, Fred. Uh we get our health back there, or our key back. And as we're gonna find out, the candle is really good against mom. Mom's heart because it can hit mom's heart even when the heart isn't down. So, uh, I mean, unfortunately for mom's heart, it's already dead. That was incredibly fast. I'm gonna wait for the goop to disappear, pick up full health, and head to the cathedral in probably the best position I've been in in a long time. Can one-shot pretty much every enemy, like, without question. And... It's looking like a good cathedral with free rooms and stuff. But unfortunately I picked the wrong path. Uh, one bomb for one bomb is a fine trade, but most certainly has no I have no reason to make it in that one situation right there. Now if there were a tinted rock, then it'd be worth it. 
This is a good time to use the candle because they're, those are dangerous enemies. Let's see what's in here. More money. Whatever. More money. Maybe I'll get money equals power in the chest if I so, if I make it so far. Uh, two of spades doubles our keys. And now I might uh, use bombs or key in order to um, have more bombs than keys because I don't need 30 keys. Well, let's see what's in here though. Nothing of use. Well, actually that's not true at all. Um, Book of Shadows could very effectively be used to um, deal a ton of damage to Isaac and Blue Baby in that I could just walk forward into him and stab him with my knife non-stop while I was invincible. So, uh, I mean, this is not going to be like a simple fight by any means, but uh, I should come out ahead just based on the fact that, like I was saying earlier, the candle will destroy all the tears shot in my direction in many cases, and the knife does crazy damage even if it is a bit continuous. And there's that fight for beating Isaac as Judas. We unlock the curved horn. And uh, we head to the chest, which is, like I was hoping, for episode 50, the first time we showed off. First thing you get in the chest is four chests, which give you uh, four random items. And the only one I want is quad shot, but quad shot plus mom's knife equals the craziest damage you've ever had. It multiplies your damage by four. Or should. I'm surprised that I'm not... Uh, killing all of these guys in one hit. And honestly, I shouldn't be losing any health. But we clearly picked the wrong direction with our initial um, pick. And uh, once again, I'm taking damage that I shouldn't be. Ah! Got full health and health up from Gluttony, which is an excellent pickup. But uh, the candle is also just not cooperating with shooting today, or well, in this floor, which is pretty much the worst time it could do that. I took a hit, and that's really bad. Triple Loki. I really don't understand right now why the candle won't just shoot. I mean, I understand that time. But now it's just, it's really, really bad. And uh, my damage for having quad shot mom's knife is really, really underwhelming. Okay, lust was the important one to get rid of there. Then greed. And now we can handle super pride, super uh, wrath rather. This is quite interestingly difficult, and every time I activate a candle, my knife is flying off in some awkward direction, <laughs> which seems to do damage, so I'm okay with that. Um, Blue Baby should be easier than any of these rooms, but uh, I cannot guarantee that I'll win. Because, I mean, as you can see, I'm only going to have three hearts. Of course, I beat Isaac with only uh, taking one hit. That's not any kind of guarantee of success for me. Especially with the way the candle is behaving. Or misbehaving. I mean, let's talk correctly about this. So uh, we're looking at very high chance of failure, but we made it. So that's our first chest victory. Comes as Judas. We unlock Judas's tongue, which is another trinket that I'll probably explain at some point. And uh, we also unlock Dad's key, which is an item. It appears, uh, I think, only in secret rooms. It might also appear in item rooms, though. It opens doors and rooms, but I'll, I'll show both good and, well, the only good use for it whenever I pick it up. Anyway, uh, that was great. So I'll show you the ending here.
Alright, so that's that's the ending of The Binding of Isaac. Um, we may have to watch the credits here. Nope. We get a new backdrop here, and uh, that counted for three mom kills because uh, Mom's Heart, Isaac, and Blue Baby all count as one. And we unlocked the last ending. 180 items, that means there are only 18 to go. And uh, I'm at 52 deaths, 50 mom kills. Pretty good. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.